For the last week, I've been really giving sole attention to the ongoing mess which had Blizzard deliver a pathetic punishment down upon a Hearthstone esports player, Blitz Chung, who chose to make a statement in support of the Hong Kong protests. It seems that story, or debacle, whatever you want to call it, is not slowing down. With BlizzCon just weeks away, things are probably going to escalate soon, but today we actually have to flip to Activision's latest nonsense. Which, if you're unaware, Activision and Blizzard are both separate publishers under the same parent company, which is called Activision Blizzard. You know, a little confusing, but both publishers have been embroiled in debacles these last few weeks, and today we have a new update regarding Activision's Modern Warfare monetization plans, which it appears developer Infinity Ward for now has caved pressure. Although they are now declaring they never and have not worked on loot boxes for Modern Warfare, which is a blatant lie that should have you all concerned for post-launch, which is where Activision's real fun always begins. Additionally, besides just this Activision madness, Electronic Arts of course has to join in on the fun, because a very dirty macrotransaction patent has been discovered, and it's not really getting the attention it truly deserves. But lastly, we are also going to briefly touch on Ubisoft's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which thus far has been slammed by critics, and received a very similar reception to that of Fallout 76 and Anthem, which in my opinion is no bueno. But as usual, if you do go on to enjoy this content and want to show your support for gaming news coverage like this, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing for more, and turning notifications on so you do not miss out on any new videos. So we're actually quickly approaching the launch of a game that no matter what will sell millions upon millions of copies, probably being the best selling game of 2019, and that obviously is Modern Warfare. I would say that this is probably the most advanced Call of Duty we've gotten in years, it truly feels like developer Infinity War is evolving the franchise forward, even if it is taking elements that are popular in games like Battlefield and Rainbow Six Siege. Although this isn't the first or the last time Call of Duty looks at a popular game for inspiration. Just last year, Black Ops 4 took elements popularized in Overwatch and Fortnite. Anyway, none of that really is an issue, as game developers always look at other games and franchises for inspiration. But what is an issue is the predatory monetization that we've become accustomed to from publisher Activision. With Modern Warfare, we've already seen some very divisive decisions made, including most notably the PlayStation 4 Spec Ops Survival Mode one-year exclusivity deal, which rightfully enraged Xbox One and PC gamers who said they would boycott. Infinity Ward of course tried downplaying concerns, saying the mode only amounted for 1% of the entire game. This response would soon after be refuted by a well-known Modern Warfare leaker who basically called out the lie. But really this exclusivity mess in my opinion is just to taste of the nonsense that is ahead, because the much larger issue is how Infinity Ward plans to support the game after release. In particular, what we've been discussing the last few weeks are the leaks regarding Modern Warfare's planned loot box system, something that not only has been mentioned by Call of Duty insiders, but it was also accidentally found during the game's beta a few weeks ago. Now, like all of you, I find this information that a predatory loot box system is coming as really the least surprising news, considering every single Call of Duty game since Advanced Warfare released back in 2014, there have been loot boxes, and might I add, every single game eventually, in some shape or form, got weapons in loot boxes. But Insider of the Gaming Revolution, who has been correct about all of his leaks thus far, as far as I understand, called out the planned predatory loot box system which led to a pathetic response from Infinity Ward which said that fans shouldn't listen to inflammatory rumors, but instead have faith in official announcements from them. Since then, we've heard that they were pushing forward despite the backlash with putting weapons in loot boxes, with the first one being the crossbow. But now we actually have another update, and it looks like again Infinity Ward is backpedaling, but what they are saying has me concerned for after release. Infinity Ward's studio art director took to Reddit about a week ago saying, What I can say is that we are focused on making a different system from Modern Warfare, one with a direct path to content for players. And just the other day, he made another post on the official Modern Warfare subreddit saying, Sigh, there continues to be misinformed and incorrect info being pushed about Modern Warfare. What I can say right now is that we are definitely not working on any kind of supply drop or loot box system. Also, functional stuff is unlocked through gameplay. Stay tuned. We're planning to release info this week. And a reminder, I say this about all statements coming from publishers like EA and Activision. Always read between the lines because the, the funny thing is with statements 
statement like this, it doesn't say that loot boxes aren't coming, it just says that they're definitely not working on any kind of supply drop or loot box system. Could an outside company like Raven Software be the one working on it? Maybe. Could the loot box system already be finished? Well, that looks extremely likely. I do want to correct my characterization of Infinity Ward caving to pressure backlash. I said that earlier in this video, and it needs to be corrected because that probably, or it isn't the case. Everything Activision's executives decide who are the real shot callers is calculated, so downplaying concerns and delaying the more egregious monetization plans until, say, early 2020 or maybe even later is a smart financial move. This company Companies executives have shown that they don't care about consumers, heck they can't even stand up for basic human rights and freedom of speech. The likelihood that all of a sudden they are going to be generous is foolish, but getting back to what Infinity Ward said in this post, the biggest problem with this statement is the reputation Call of Duty developers have for not telling the truth or twisting their original words later. Like for example, Black Ops 3 was not supposed to have a loot box system, something that Activision told reporters months before launch, but obviously that did not last. Just with Black Ops 4, developer Treyarch lied about there being a combat record and leaderboards feature. Waiting about six months to announce combat records would come to a terrible mobile app instead. Additionally, Black Ops 4's design director said Blackout characters would only be unlockable through gameplay. Months later, they would be locked behind loot boxes, which led to a response from the developer saying, things change and it was true at launch, which is exactly why this Infinity War developer's response cannot be trusted, or at least one reason, because this art director is lying about loot boxes not being worked on. Likely they are finished, as I said before. Call of Duty Insider The Gaming Revolution for the last week or two detailed plans that were happening behind the scenes. Like he revealed that his source, who is most likely a developer, said that Modern Warfare's monetization will be decent at first, but will then get nasty over time. When asked how similar monetization will be to Black Ops 4, The Gaming Revolution responded, right now it's better, but it's honestly looking like it'll be around the same, but only time will tell after launch, and he would also, in a series of tweets, detail how the loot boxes would be at launch. But here's the interesting thing. It appears that last minute this system has been put on pause. Another leaker, who just days ago said the system was more akin to Infinite Warfare's, took to Twitter revealing that the monetization system is actively being changed due to player backlash. Now another leaker, yes this is a very leaky company like Ubisoft, but the long sensation who infamously was the first I believe to reveal Call of Duty Modern Warfare's name and a bunch of game details, which was later backed by various gaming outlets, I believe including Kotaku, took to Twitter saying the Modern Warfare supply drop news is surprising to me, because the system has already been added to the game during development, it's done, and ready to be implemented whenever they see appropriate. That being said, there were also talks several months back of something like the Fortnite slash Apex Legends stores. I'm wondering if we're getting this store and then supply drops at a later date, as an added way to earn random loot that would also be in the store. Either way, this change was very sudden, so I hope you understand there's a reason why Call of Duty mobile gameplay is in the background, and it's because I believe that the mobile game's explosion in popularity with 100 million plus downloads may have eased some of the pressure off of Infinity Ward for now, and it's very likely the loot box system, which is finished most likely, is going to come down the road once the reviews and millions of copies are sold. This is how it is every year how it was with Black Ops 4, and Activision is brilliant with exploitation, which is why Black Ops 4 made so much macro-transaction money. The game at release was a disappointment in the eyes of investors, only making around $500 million. I, I can't believe that's a disappointment. But the months following release, slowly Treyarch added more and more BS, until finally Black Ops 4 was a pathetic pay-to-win mess, but it was successful, with Activision declaring victory, saying players had embraced their BS, with them achieving record record highs with in-game sales. No matter what Infinity Ward says about Modern Warfare's monetization now, it cannot be trusted a few months later, which is a big problem, but right now them saying a loot box system doesn't exist is a blatant lie. But now we move on to another publisher, which is known for dirty monetization, and that obviously is Electronic Arts. This is something that went under the radar, but a very interesting new patent has been found, and as Segment Next describes it, this particular system is designed to create a sense of urgency in players to make in-game purchases as soon as possible. The reason being that the virtual items will decrease in value over time based on the number of purchases made. Hence, if players want to reap maximum benefits, they 
will want to be the first ones to make the purchase, a kind of day one microtransaction. Now, Electronic Arts was quick to respond to this story on this patent, saying, The patent is not part of any current Electronic Arts game or technology. We are not planning to include it in any of our games. The patent was originally filed years ago without any of our involvement and came to EA through a previous asset acquisition, which I mean doesn't change the fact that they own it and could implement it one day without anyone even knowing. Now, this isn't the first time Electronic Arts has been caught owning a dirty macrotransaction related patent. Last year, outrage emerged when it was found that they owned a patent which would manipulate matchmaking to increase in-game sales by observing player behavior, and then matching a novice against an experienced player, the system would basically be encouraging the novice to emulate the decked out player by purchasing items being used by them, hence driving macrotransactions home through enticement and a false perception of superiority. Essentially putting new players against highly skilled players with the hope or belief that the new players after getting spanked will spend money with the false belief that buying in-game items will make them better. Simply it's dirty and the fact that EA keeps on obtaining dirty patents like this should probably raise some concerns with the future. In my opinion it makes me wonder if EA believes that one day this entire gaming industry will become the wild west in terms of monetization in which all sorts of predatory manipulative exploitative systems become normalized. Honestly, it's kind of scary, especially when you consider the now former EA CEO dreamed a few years ago about a future in which they charged Battlefield players a dollar to reload their guns. But to the final topic we have is Ubisoft's Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which created outrage right around the game's launch with the sheer amount of macrotransactions in place, with just about every aspect of the experience being something you could purchase, which honestly should show you where Ubisoft's priorities are these days, but since then Ubisoft removed certain in-game items like skill points for now, which they said in a statement these optional time savers were not meant to go live during the early access. At this point it just drives me nuts when people defend these companies blatant greed. If you shut up and ignore this stuff now it just further normalizes this monetization that in my opinion is ruining this gaming industry. But the most notable part of Ubisoft's statement is that they are only removing their quote unquote time savers for now, and will bring them back later but anyway to the actual game of Ghost Recon Breakpoint, thus far it's being slammed by both games media and players with a very unfortunate 58 out of 100 critic score based on 88 reviews with just 14% of them recommending the game. You had IGN giving the game a 60 out of 100 saying Breakpoint offers initial fun following Ubisoft's open world structure as gospel, but a lack of variety and conflicting pieces leaves it devoid of personality. PC Gamer went lower with a 40 out of 100 saying poorly stapled on mechanics and a general lack of polish make Breakpoint's open world tactics simply not worth the time. And probably the most negative review came from VG247, giving the game a 20 out of 100, which is actually right around the overall user score on Metacritic, but VG247 stated in their review, I really wanted to like Breakpoint, Ubisoft has a habit of making mediocre games, Assassin's Creed, Watch Dogs really shine with a sequel, but this is a significant step back, I would rather play Anthem, at least Traversal doesn't make me want to put my head through a window in that game. Ouch. I've only had a few hours with Breakpoint myself thus far, but even I have to say this game has been very unimpressive, at least with what I've played. Scattering a bunch of loot around in uninteresting and repetitive open world doesn't make me want to explore it, it makes me want to go play something else. Essentially Breakpoint feels a lot like Wildlands with the addition of looter shooter mechanics, and I'm sure some will love that and some like myself will not. For myself, an ongoing issue I have with all Ubisoft open world games is that they all just feel too familiar. The formula has grown stale and the overall experience just suffers. What I hope is with the next generation of consoles near coming most likely late holiday 2020, Ubisoft finally makes a real effort to evolve forward because a game like Breakpoint could have and should have been better. Anyway, what do you make of Modern Warfare's latest shenanigans and do you think the Ubisoft formula is getting stale? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, but thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value, and make sure to follow my other social media accounts for updates on new videos. Links are always down in the description below. I'm most active on Twitter, giving opinions on news that I do not always get into video form, so do make sure to follow me over there. Also check out my Discord for all sorts of discussion on games. And again, thank you for joining, consider subscribing for more videos like this, and I'll see you later.